What's up YouTube? Welcome back to 7 Star Fitness. My name is Keegan and today we're doing a deep dive on me. Uh, we're going to be deep diving into how I went from this to this in 12 weeks. Uh, I was part of a fitness challenge, a transformation challenge specifically, run by the Toronto Popeyes, Popeyes the Six on Instagram. I'll throw their Instagram information in the description below. Uh, and I was doing this as part of the staff. It was for staff as well as uh, some of the athletes of Popeyes. And it was just to kind of show that we could walk the talk. So as you can probably imagine, people who work at a supplement store where you give a lot of advice on a regular basis, this is an opportunity for us to show people that we can also actually take that advice and do the things that we're telling you guys to do and change ourselves as a result. So uh, we're going to be talking about how I did that and how I, I kind of made my transformation. So I guess the first thing worth tackling are the challenges that I had specifically for this actual 12 week period. So the first thing has to be the fact that I have a daughter. I mean, I'm a dad and I also happen to be the primary caregiver. So what this means is that for the vast majority majority of every single day. I don't have time to be dedicating every waking moment to fitness, exercise, nutrition, that sort of thing. I kind of have to be a little bit more fast and loose and I have to do things that will allow for me to still be able to take care of my daughter. The second thing was the fact that there was no gym. So with no gym, you kind of have to be a little bit more uh, creative with how you're going to make sure that you hit your goals. You don't have all the same resources available to you. This can be a very big problem. So that was the second major challenge. The third major challenge is the fact that I hate calorie restriction. I just, I love food. What can I say? I I mean, all the other foodies out there, all the other food lovers out there, you know what I mean? It's just, when it comes to cutting down your calories, it's so difficult because I live for flavor. And oftentimes, lunch or dinner, the times where I'm eating can be a major bright spot in my day if it's a good meal. So that can be a problem if I'm having to cut down calories and make the meals a little less desirable than one might want. When it comes down to it, I really had to solve for these problems. And solving for them, I kind of had three major solutions. The first one was that I started implementing a exercise routine across the day to help increase caloric expenditure. As a lot of us know, when it comes to fat loss, when it comes to making changes in your body, calorie in, calorie out is basically the, the magic equation. So what you have to do is make sure that your calories out is going to be higher than the calories in. The way you do that is either to reduce the calories you're intaking or to increase the calories you're outputting. So knowing that I was going to have a lot more trouble with the take in less calories, I figured find ways to increase the calories that I'm outputting. This was actually a lot easier than one might think for two reasons. The first solution was to just take my daughter out on, on walks, lots of walks. I would take my daughter out on as many walks as I could in the day, you know, within reasonable expectations. I was actually doing two hour long walks per day with her. Uh, the first one was to allow her to go to the park and play. The second one was just to like sort of walk around and just sort of get outside, be outside, get some exercise for me specifically specifically, which allowed me to get a little bit more exercise and turn the fact that she's with me all day from a disadvantage from an exercise perspective to an advantage by allowing her motivation to get outside as much as humanly possible, be a motivator for me to get her outside as much as possible and get exercise with her. Did that work out perfectly every single time? Hell no. That's sort of the magic of having a one-year-old, but all y'all parents out there understand the plight of that one. So the second thing that I had to solve for after that was the fact that I still didn't feel like the amount of exercise that I would be getting over the course of the day would really be enough to push the calories out to the point where I was really getting enough of a deficit. I really wanted to find a way to get a solid edge. So what I did is I started implementing an exercise per day protocol and each day I would do 200 repetitions of a particular exercise. Uh, those were the exercises I did. Basically, I had one of those set for each day, and then I would go about doing 200 of those exercises per day. So that's how I did it. But that got exhausting super quick. So I switched it up. I changed it up so that I took all the exercises that I was doing over the course of the week, compressed them all into the same day, but only did 40 of each. So that I was still doing 200 total 
So that's kind of how that ended up balancing out. I figured the 200 repetitions done over the course of the day would give me an increase in my overall caloric expenditure for the day, making it so that my calories out was pushed to the point where I was seeing significant deficit and as a result, significant quantities of fat loss. It was something that I was sort of playing with as a sort of instinctual thing. It wasn't something I'd calculated out through like really like deep and meticulous scientific means. So, you know, if some of you have a problem with it, throw it in the comments. Sure, I'll listen. I'd be happy to like look at your reasoning and kind of talk it out with you guys but this was very much just an intuitive process so forgive me if there's some holes in the logic as far as some of your interpretations of this whole process are concerned so that was the second solve I had for that particular issue and uh, it seemed to be going well it was a bit exhausting but I still managed to pull it off for the most part not having access to a gym has been one of those things that a lot of people have been complaining about a lot these days. And I mean, for good reason. You can't really replace having a barbell in your hand. And in a city like the one we're living in here in Toronto, there's not a lot of places, especially in apartment buildings, where you could make use of a barbell. It's a very difficult thing to make work. The next best thing we can do is we can find ways to work around it. Resistance bands can be a great way to get your workout in without having to worry about the big problems that come with your dumbbell or your barbell setup because you have pretty decent amounts of resistance you can still execute on but it takes up way less room so that's what I did and I made use of those in my workouts that I was doing at least four times a week uh, and of course one day of the week I was also doing a run so that was also stacked on top of the 200 repetitions I was doing per day and the two hours of walking that I was doing with my daughter throughout the day which did lead to a pretty significant caloric deficit the last part was my nutrition now like I mentioned when it comes down to it I am less willing and less emotionally able to handle the caloric deficit over a significant period of time and knowing this as being an issue of mine I could plan around it so what I did is I started to pay a lot more attention to protein and fats now the way I did that was I know that protein is gonna help with my body's feeling of satisfaction as I eat it uh, it also has the uh, highest uh, potential for dietary thermogenesis so that was one area where I wanted to make sure that you know I was getting the appropriate amount of protein so that I was seeing proper muscle and tissue uh, uh, rebuilding and repair over the course of this process uh, but also at the same time, I was using it to help me feel satisfied and, and full after a meal, which could be a huge challenge when it comes to dealing with caloric deficits. And when it came to fat, I was looking at it because I know that it is the most calorically dense micronutrient. And so it having so much energy packed into each, each gram, I wanted to make sure that every time I was looking at it and depending on where I was in my particular eating plan or as far as the proximity to the end of the challenge was concerned, I would always make sure that I was using it to make fluctuations in caloric intake. It was sort of the first one that I would make adjustments to because it was so easy to increase it, increase overall caloric intake or decrease it, decrease caloric intake. Uh, and also when you do f tend to fluctuate fat, as cooks say, fat is flavor, and so it does make a huge impact on the flavor of a lot of meals. Those are the things that I did to kind of get me from this point to this point, and it was definitely a difficult journey. Um, if I was to kind of wrap it up and say anything about the process, I'd say, I mean, first and foremost, it was a great way to keep me motivated to push towards something and constantly push myself in my workouts. Um, it was definitely a, a positive experience on that. And I found out that there was a lot more I was capable of and that I could do in terms of workload, not only in terms of, you know, the amount of exercise I can do in a day, which I found way more areas to throw an exercise than I thought it was going to. But even just in terms of actual workload, like I started this YouTube channel during this challenge, which is insane. And I probably shouldn't have done that, but I did it and it's done and I can't really change that anymore. Fact is, I'm still doing it and I actually enjoy it. So this is something that I learned about myself in this process that I think was actually really positive. Uh, and it has nothing to do with the actual fat loss portion of this, but I'd say as far as transformation is concerned, it's a good thing. Um, as of the recording of this video, I have no idea if I've won or if I've lost. So I'm gonna have to kind of leave you with the cliffhanger on that one. If I find out before the video goes up, I'll throw it in the description. So feel free to check out. You can see if I take the W or if I take a big fat L or if maybe I just fall into like second place or third place. I do not remember what second place and third place prizes were, but I do know that, you know, when it gets to five hundo. So really hoping for the five hundo. 
that'll do it for this video. Uh, I hope you guys found it entertaining, informative. I hope you guys found some form of motivation, inspiration, information in there that might be useful to you. If you guys are doing a challenge yourself, something that can help you get the edge that you need to really push yourself a little bit further. Or if you're not doing that, and you're just looking for some reason or some way to get a little bit more active with, you know, uh, a lot of things the way they are it can be very difficult. But, you know, if nothing else, what I did proves that you do not need a gym to make changes to yourself. You know, it's, it's definitely possible to do at home you just have to have the ingenuity you just have to have the creativity you have to have the dedication the persistence the consistency and you can reach it so uh yeah i hope you guys got something out of it uh of course comment below let me know if you guys have any goals that you're working on that you know you're finding particularly hard or that you found that something in this video is going to give you the edge and help you push forward i'd love to hear about it we can chat about it uh, of course i'll put all my social media links down in the description as well instagram facebook come on join us and of course hit the subscribe and the like button below please do that join the galaxy all of us out here doing everything we can to be the best version of ourselves pushing just a little bit every day to be even that much better than we were yesterday and that's more than enough so join up with us be another one of the stars of the galaxy we'd love to have you and of course stay shining because the galaxy can only be a bright and beautiful place if we all shine together peace